Hello everybody! Okay, so today we are going to start a new game on City Skylines. This is my first YouTube video, so I am excited to see how everything is going to go. We're going to just jump right in and start with a new game. Let's see... What map do I want to play? Let's actually do the one that I created. Just because I like the layout and I want to show you guys the layout. So let's just jump right into this. I am excited to be on YouTube. I have been, you know, such a big fan of everyone. I watch them all the time, you know, all the big City Skylines YouTubers. Um, so it's actually really exciting for me to be taking on this platform. Alright, so this is the map everybody. You have a little bit of land over here. It's kind of like a little island I guess. Surrounded by this big piece of land over here and then all of this. I think I want to build over here. I want to see if I can maybe fill out this area. I want to see if maybe I can fill out this area. I want to build a lot of infrastructure over here. So let's see what I can do with this. So first off, I'm going to start by building a grid. But I want to build a grid with... the little road right here. So I'm basically just getting these roads all together so I can put them in a grid. I think the downtown should have a grid because it's easier for public transportation and walkability of the town. Basically my idea is just so that when people come in from the rest of the city into the downtown, they won't have to cause more traffic by driving their car. They can just take the public transportation, go where they need to go, and then leave so that they don't cause any more traffic down where it's going to be the heaviest. I know for sure I need to upgrade the highway right here to a four lane with sound barrier road. So my favorite road to use is the six lane road with the median. I feel like it's a little more realistic, if you want to say. Like there's going to be something in the middle of your lane right here. Okay, so if I put this down, I want to go, not to this point, but I'll go to the second point. I want to make sure my straight slope is on and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to go seven out, but I want to go all the way down to zero meters. And then I want to pull it out just once on a flat land. Straight. Just 10. Now with this, I feel like it's a good base to work. So with this first intersection, I'm going to show you guys how I like to do my intersections. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks down in the comments below. This, so this is how I like to do my freeway on ramps and off ramps. I like to start with the curved road tool right here, and I like to grab it and go under about halfway. Another one, and then grab it there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well. And then I wanna go with this tool, the free road tool. Just like that. And then with this one, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And then with this one, I'm going to go over here just to give it a slight little curve.
but that's going to do that. All right. So this is basically the rough layout of how I like to do my intersections. Oh, I forgot one. So as you can tell right now, it doesn't look so well. So I'm going to fix it up and let me show you how. So for this, you will have to have the presidential road mod. Um, so first of all, I like to turn all the roads back to the normal side, to the right side. So I have to flip these and flip that. So next, I want to fix these curves. So what I do is I like to click that and then go here. And give this a good little curve down. I like to level this to that. Then I like to go up three. And then align this slope to that slope and then basically it just gives you like a good little clean come up stay on the same side on the traffic so I'm going to do the same thing over here chill out it needs to go down here I don't know what's it's doing all the way up there this road isn't even that high all right <clears throat> so I can lower that one just a little bit just like that so that one's done so with this road I like to go over here and just give it a good little curve like that make it go straight So how to do this one is you just go like that. I need to flip the road there. There you go. And for these roads, I like to have this lane and that lane be dot. So then once it's like this, this is pretty much the done final project. So I think this is going to be a high area of traffic, so I am going to go ahead and update this road to be a four lane road, just because I want there to be designated turning lane so that the three of these can go forward. So now what I have to do is I have to go into here and I have to designate their lanes. And I like to give this middle lane the option to go to because I know that everyone will either go into the left or right side. You know how City Skylines is. So I then want to put these guys over here. I'm not going to go to. I'm going to go here and this one to go here. These guys are going to all three go straight. And this one's going to go to the right. And it's going to go to the right. These three are going to go straight, and so is this one. See, then they want to turn, but they can't turn because it's going to make traffic. They can switch in the middle there if they need to. This lane's all need to three go straight. This one can turn anywhere they would like. And all of these are going to go straight. Okay, so now that all of those are going straight, I need to kind of make somewhat of a road system. 
I want to make this block my downtown. I think this would be a great block for downtown just because how close it is to the rest of the city and I like how it's right on the water. So right here I am building a nether highway interchange. I'm building it the same exact way as you just saw me build the other one. I'm starting out with the single road. It is going to go on both sides and then also it's going to have the slip lane so that you can just exit on the right. I am going to play with the right hand turn on just because I think that it flows much smoother. I think that the city flows much smoother when the AI is turned on to right hand drive turn at red lights. It just makes sense to me. It's how it is in real life and that's how I'm going to play it. So now that I'm almost finishing this up, I want to get started on some of the downtown work. I need to build just a few more intersections just because the downtown is going to require a lot of flow for the traffic to actually move properly. Alright, and so now that this is done, it's really good because then they can Enter here, exit over here, enter here, exit over here, enter here, exit over there. Will you, we will really need this later on. It's going to get pretty hectic. Um, I do like to use this style. If you can't tell already, I'm going to be using it a lot more. It's really good on traffic, so I just like to use it. This is the grid I am using. So I'm just going to go on a little time lapse here so you guys don't have to watch me do this painstakingly click, click, click. I am just setting up the grid down here. I want to get a pretty dense grid going on. I want to have some of the grids going in a different direction. I like to take look into the real world so for this inspiration specifically that just this little portion of the downtown i wanted to take some real world life aspects of san francisco i looked down in their financial district at some of the roads going in different patterns so i kind of wanted to do some of that action here not so much on the part we're watching right now but on the part a little bit more in the corner by the interchange there right here there are some different angles going on and I just want to have a different aesthetic going on for the city I know I'm gonna need to have the interchanges over here going probably three or four. This is going to be very dense downtown. I just know I'm going to need one here, so I'm just going to put something right here. You know, just like something. Yeah, because that looks better. Like if I have four here, I need definitely to have four here. There's just going to be too much sauce going on. Everyone's going to want to be off on the same one, and I mean, this is one side, but when everyone is going to be wanting to go over here, I mean, but I'm going to have good tr public transportation. So at one point, if we think we don't need it, we can always come back to it, gentrify it and switch it up because I don't need something that's not going to be on the right path, you know? So I will need these guys to open up here. That's fine. I think this needs to have this kind of intersection every, what, what is this, six block? I think it's important to have intersections, especially in city skylines, where you will have a decent amount of wiggle room, just because there is so much traffic that comes out of certain buildings that at some point it turns unmanageable. So throughout my time playing this game, I've kind of figured out that the more intersections, the better, but 
I say that with just a little bit of restraint, just because having too much can overdo it if they're not in the right place. So every six blocks would be about a good distance, just in my opinion. But I would love to see what you guys are doing. If you ever want to follow me on Instagram or, you know, send me a DM here on YouTube, I would love to see some of your work. I love to see all of the hard work you guys put into your cities. It really puts some inspiration in me. Sometimes I feel like I play this game and it kind of not gets boring, but I just feel like I don't have the energy to just keep going. I just kind of get bored with it or, you know, there's, I don't know. I just need a spark sometimes. Let me know if you guys have ever felt that way. I just feel like I need a spark sometimes to get back in the groove of playing this game. It's one of my favorite games. So I really love to see the other work that you guys do. It just puts some inspiration in me and some of the stuff you guys do i can't even do so we are just finishing up this little area over here i don't know if it's gonna be an industrial area or maybe an office area i just don't know yet it's kind of by a highway so it's a weird little section but i am just finishing up this new highway interchange there's a lot of them down in this downtown area but I, I i know we're gonna need it and you guys are gonna be able to tell what i mean i'm gonna be adding a lot of towers in from the steam workshop and they have a very high rate of people who live there and work there so we're gonna need the extra buffer of space and room down here okay no, so now that i'm thinking about this now that i have the downtown area i want to have one coming off of here want to skip one one coming off of here skip one and one coming off of here all right so that's gonna be my plan so i am going to delete some of those roads i initially placed down just as a marker i'm going to build off of these roads every two blocks i think there's going to be a higher influx of people on this side of the road just because I plan to build across the river here first. So I'm putting in more highway interchanges here. I think it's going to do a lot for the people who live here. I'm also trying to make them just a little bigger just so that I have some wiggle room if I need to switch something up later. Like I said, if I ever need to do some gentrification and switch some things up, I definitely will. I want to get your guys' feedback. If you like the area, what you think I should change, if I should change anything at all, it's probably going to be a while until I get back to this just because I have already pre-recorded some sessions of gameplay so let me know if you want a new intersection or let me know if you want just to see something in general specifically towards highway interchanges i can probably do a whole video on them uh, there's a lot of different interchanges that intrigue me um, some of the stack interchanges are very interesting, especially in City Skyline, where they it kind of, the roads kind of have a mind of their own, and you need to do a lot of twisting and tweaking with them, but you still end up getting the job done. So as you can see here, I'm doing kind of like three main interchanges in a row. Just because I want them to have the same general aesthetic and also they just need to be perfect in this area for the high volume of traffic that they're going to get. Um, there's going to be so many people coming down here to work and to live. It's, it's going to need all of this. I'm also planning to put some light rail on the streets. So I want to have some metro cars either trams or subways 
definitely going to have subways in this city in the downtown area. I don't know how far I'm going to spread it. Sometimes, you know, some part of me wants to build it across the river, but I just don't know how realistic that is, building the subway across the river when there's not going to be that... Uh, there's not going to be that much of a density population to supply it. I'm not really sure. There's not going to be too many skyscrapers anywhere else in this entire city besides the downtown portion. So I'm just trying to stick to basically any major American city and the extent of their public transportation, which isn't much in America. So I'm just trying to find the fine line between having a big train network, a big subway network, and also a downtown tram line that they will actually use. Okay, so now that I have this road set up, I have got to start planning my infrastructure. So that's going to be electricity, the water, sewage, garbage, healthcare, fire department, police, schools, public transportation is going to come very soon. Parks is going to be very huge. I love adding parks. So speaking of parks, I think I'm going to add the very first park right here. So for this park, I want it to be on a main road. I want it to be right here to go and draw the park area. So now that I have this set up, I just want to put a brief fence around. This is just going to help out with memorizing where the park is so that I can't zone here. Because if I don't lay out this fence, I know myself I'm going to zone. This is acting weird though. Good enough it's just rough right now so I am going to link these up now all right so for right now I'm going to build my nuclear power plant this city is going to run off of a nuclear power I'm trying to decide where I wish should build it it needs to be near a body of water I'm thinking if maybe I should do it right here yeah, I think I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna do it near the highways, away from everything. So now I'm gonna start building the nuclear power plant. And so to build the nuclear power plant, I need to have a highway intersection. All right, so now that we have the interchange down I just want to bring this all the way down to about here. I want to have this go all the way over here. I am starting out the new area of the electric power plant. I am going full nuclear for this place. I think it's going to give out the best output of power for the least amount of space and I also think it's going to give it the best aesthetic just because I've had experience with some of the other partly clean fuels um, that City Skylines has to offer like some of their solar powers or the wave generation it kind of just doesn't look as good as this asset that I downloaded and these nuclear power plants are just so huge they just look fantastic in the game and I love using them 
So I think this is a good start to the nuclear power plants. I do have a mod that allows me to have power throughout the whole map without having to add the power lines. So as you can see, the power just kind of goes to everything. Over here too, it just gets powered. So it's pretty nice, it saves the eyesore. So now we have power. I do need to have water. So what I like to do for water is I like to get the deep and wide canal. And I like to have systems in place that collect water. So I will have water collection. Let's do water collections on this side, this side, and this side. All of this area is going to be poop. It's going to be for sewer. The sewer water is going to go over there, and I'm going to show you how to clean the sewer water so it doesn't make your city's water supply absolutely disgusting. I like to go five out. And I'm going to do another one over here. I think that will be good right now for water. We can always build more later. I do need to do the same thing, but on the other side of the river for sewage. So for that, I am going to just do one of these. Again, five. And then I think I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Just three out and five down. Okay. So I'm going to unpause it, let that do its thing. So basically the water is going to fill up. It's going to be level with the river. So when these are filled up, I can place the water and sewage departments in their places accordingly. So right now it's kind of doing its thing. So I'm going to go over here, pause the game. I'm going to get water. This is my favorite kind, the large water pumping station. Hmm, maybe just five there. That's for the sewage. This one... These do need pipes. I just connect them all like this. I do like to have all of my roads have my pipes underneath them. I think it just is cleaner, it has a better vibe to it. So with this one, I'm just going to go like this and like that. All right, so now that is all of the water and I do have to have the pipes going over here. This is a great start to the city. It's just building a lot of infrastructure. It's very slow to start. There's like not even people living here yet. And I already have $12,000 in debt. All right, so. So now that has water. They do need sewage. And for the sewage, I do like to use these ones. I know they don't do as much as the other ones as output, but I think it's better for the environment. So it's worth it in my opinion. It's always worth it if it's better for the environment in game, in life. So that's what we're gonna do here. So there's one here. I think I had another one here. Four. That's good. Alright, 
right, that's good. So now I want to have these built up here. And once are all of these connected, I can hook them up to the water via that connection. And then I always like to have a redundancy. Now we need a garbage area. I am going to just put it right here for now. Basically time to rock and roll. What a beautiful day it is right here in Spring Valley. We're going to need to change that name soon, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to say if you have tuned in this long, it really means the world to me. I'm just starting out here on YouTube, so if you have any recommendations on what you would like to see, whether that be something for the channel related, you know, maybe we could do a big stadium or a hospital or a, an airport, whatever you would like to see, just leave it down in the comments below. If, if you have tuned in this far, leave me a laughing emoji. Let me know what you liked. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you. And wherever you're tuning in from, have a great day.